father had cancer and um, we he passed on at 67 at cardiac arrest but I, I was very very um, much appreciative of your honesty and your testimony and thank her so much for bringing attention to this uh, this will truly always be her legacy to be able to at least protect other other women um, today's hearing is significant I think people are not realizing, you know, corporate greed is a type of cancer in our democracy right now. And, and it's true, it's people questioning the science, questioning real actual data that says exposure to these products hurts our families, our residents. One, just last week, the Food and Drug Administration issued a safety, safety alert confirming that asbestos was found in makeup product samples from Claire's, stores like Claire's and Justice, which are the stores that my residents go to, working folks, working families. Uh, you know, they don't go to the bougie, you know, uh, Macy's counter. I'm being serious. These are targeting working class people, companies that manufacture and sell these makeup products to young girls, many of them of color. The FDA safety alert states, and I quote, the FDA requested that Claire's recall the products because they should not be used by consumers. Claire's has refused to comply with the FDA's request, and the agency does not have authority to mandate a recall. However, later on after that, Claire's has since voluntarily complied. But even reading that just now, I, it shook me. And I know I'm new. But, it, it, you know, before I came here, I honestly thought FDA's got it covered. EPA's got it covered. I see what happened in Flint and Michigan. I, and, and so being here, the products mentioned uh, in the safety alerts include, like, eyeshadows, uh, compact pro I mean, these are things that I see my nieces in their, in their little, I mean, you know, the younger girls are starting to put all kinds of stuff on their face. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup until I was 18. But, you know, it's, it's true. It's changing because they're really ter ter focusing and, and on, on, on our young girls. And so, Mr. Fabric, your organization is devoted so much in, in helping consumers make right decisions. I know the Ecology Center in Michigan, I sat on their board for years, you know, testing car seats that had toxins in them, kids' car seats. You know, corporate greed is so dangerous. It makes us look blindly at the science at real data and information. And it's not like we don't want you, we want you to do well. We support, right? who doesn't? But we don't want it uh, in exchange for people dying. So in the context of makers of talcum baby powder and so forth, if you were to make a decision, if you were in my spot, like what are some of the specific things? I mean, you had mentioned 40 other countries had what, 1,400 restricted already? Um, where I think, what is ours? How many you said? Nine, 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 and you just said 2,000 products are on the market right now. What would you ask us to do on behalf of our residents right now at this point? Well, the, the good news is that uh, the Chairman Pallone, Chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee, is, is now working with Congressman Shimkus to craft legislation that would give the FDA these basic powers to order a recall if a product is contaminated, to review ingredients if the ingredients have been linked to cancer or reproductive harm. The other good news is that many of the companies that uh, in the 70s fought giving FDA this power now support bipartisan legislation like the kind being developed by Mr. Pallone and Mr. Shimkus to give FDA these basic powers, the ability to know whether or not something's contaminated, to order a recall, to stop the production of contaminated products, all, all powers that FDA has for other categories but does not have today for cosmetics. I read, and I don't know if my colleagues know this, but I believe that this is a $62 billion industry in America right now. And they can't just put a disclaimer, anything, any information out there, education, on what these products are, but to think that asbestos, asbestos, which is living, breathing in your body, it takes a while, it's like a slow death, is in these products is unbelievable. I want to ask, maybe afterwards we can talk, uh, but I really want to put these products on, on, on my congressional website. I want to tell, I want to see if my colleagues won't let me do that, because I want to put it on my, on my website and provide this information to these young girls and try to increase education, because I can't wait for this legislation to pass for people to stop dying. Thank you so much. Thank you.